We conducted two types of concrete waterproofing experiments. This first experiment used pieces of the actual shotcrete taken from bracing at the site. I used similar pairs of samples and I sprayed the odd ones with the protoshield waterproofing sealer. It is a penetrating elastomeric sealer and it was difficult to see that it was applied at all except for a slightly darker color. Let's set them in the water. First the waterproof sample. You can see how it behaves with water. And second the unwaterproof sample. You can see it immediately absorbing the water. Okay, let's try that again with three and four. So first the waterproof sample. You can actually see little bubbles up against the surface. Hydrophobic. And then the unwaterproof sample. Which immediately starts to absorb the water. This sample's thinner in cross sections, so maybe that's why it doesn't absorb up through it as quickly. Sample 5, which I'd already conducted uh, a 48 hours test on 5 and 6, so this is their second time through the test. Now let's switch to a time lapse. The clock was stuck, so ignore that and focus on the water soaking into the samples. You can see the shorter samples absorb it quicker, uh, shorter relative to width, it just has to do with gravity and uh, how the concrete conducts moisture. The thinner sample isn't able to conduct it as high. After two hours I replace the clock with a timer. This is a one hour timer winding down. You can see things aren't changing very much anymore. I reset that a few times, but eventually the ability of the samples to soak up water is balanced by gravity and evaporation rates, and things pretty much stay the same for the next 48 hours. So here's my final video. 48 hours later. Doesn't seem to be changing anymore. Water levels are slow, significantly reduced. Presumably the water was absorbed into those samples and a little bit evaporated, but the evaporation would have been equal between the two samples. You can see they are dry above and below the water level.